and good morning world this is Saturday the 10th of November and it's about 11 12 o'clock in the morning and I'm looking at a chart of what's going on in the skies at the moment and to be honest I'm not seeing a great deal yes the moon has just moved into Libra but and it's opposing Uranus and squaring Pluto. But this is a prelude in readiness for when Mars gets involved in about a week or two's time. So I'm not seeing any big deal. And this is this is amplified by the fact that over the last week or so, the sun in Scorpio has not been making aspect to any other planet in the sky. Every so often I see an unaspected sun, maybe one in a hundred. But when I see it for four or five days in a row, I realise I'm looking at what is really a null time. This is a, this is a quiet time where we are now. But I do know the large amount of planets in Scorpio, not, not significant numbers, but depth of quality. The sun is in Scorpio. The north node, which deals with purpose, and in some people's eyes, but not mine, karma, is in Scorpio. And of course, Saturn is in Scorpio. By now, almost 10% of the way through. Those of you born around the first four or four days of Scorpio, i.e. before October the 26th, you, you, you're done. You're dealt with. Saturn's finished with you already. But Scorpio, people misunderstand Scorpio. People look at Scorpio and they think, hmm, sex or death or power. And true, Scorpio has affiliations with all of these signs. But perhaps the most unacknowledged side of Scorpio is the way that it deals with other people's power, particularly other people's money. It has a great correlation with the eighth house, the Scorpio house, which specifically relates to other people's money, as in mortgage, loan, investment, things like this, sponsorship. Um, it deals with uh, funding from outside of your own pocket. And when that comes, there's always a catch attached. There's always some type of added extra that means that you're going to end up losing out and being out of profit. Now, this very nature of profit is something that's been with humanity since the very start of time. There's always been that my appendage is bigger than your appendage. My God is bigger than your God. I'm better than you. Therefore, I'm going to make some money out of you. Do we need this? When there were very few of us and we needed to better ourselves, there was constant competition to improve ourselves. But now there's so many of us. Is it not a fair statement to say that the days of profit are done? Is it not time to cast the money lenders from a temple? Is it not time for us to completely um, reinvent the nature of trade and the reasons why we trade? We trade to make each other's lives better, not to make money out of each other. So here's my solution to the world's economic problems. If we were to print money with a use-by date on it, then say after, after three months of issue, the money would go down 1% in value every day, then it would soon become valueless and people would have to spend money on possessions and materials in order to be rich. They could not save money. The only people this would uh, have a difficult effect upon would be those older people who have already bought their house and invested all their money in their property. But I'm sure some way could be found around this. It is the nature of people saving money and removing it from the economy, which is screwing everyone else up. There's loads of money printed, but not enough going round. So let's make saving money. Let's hit them in the pocket. If you want to be rich, go and buy possessions, go and buy a tower block, go and buy lots of quality food. We used to go for quantity. Perhaps as the human race advances in intelligence, the case is for quantity. Uh, quality, I'm sorry, instead of quantity. And with Saturn in Scorpio, is there not perhaps a case for reassessing this mad, insane drive for profit and gain at all cost? Is it not perhaps time to look at the way we manage resources and to create a more balanced resource pool?